Get a load of this, folks. It's a 2004 CLK 320 Avant Garde with just 81,000 clicks. And it has Mercedes-Benz Marshalls, which is at Parramatta, service history, every service from new. I mean, it's as best as you could hope for this year. Mercedes has been building these pillarless coupes for a long, long time. Just to give you an idea of how long, I'm going to show you its kin over here. And basically, this is a 300 CE, and it's pretty much evolved into this, which is known as the CLK today. It's finished in zircon silver. Have a look at these headlights. You know, in a car that's been neglected or left outside, these craze over, they fog up and become opaque. These are crystal clear, as if they've just left the factory. There's not a stone chip across the hood. As close to new as you could hope for. The wheels are in pretty good nick. Tiny little scuff there, which we'll touch up. We believe that uh, cars like this represent excellent value for money. So we've got a nice set of good years. And they are the tyre size 225 45 R17. So a lovely set of factory Mercedes wheels. No aftermarket nonsense. That's what you'd like to, that's what you should look for when you're looking at an older Mercedes, all original. We here at the Old Timer Centre only look for the most original, cleanest examples we can find and we feel that this is probably one of them in the year group. Unmarked leather, still smells new, bolsters have no wear, factory floor mats, I'm sorry about the shadows, I'd like to go outside but it's raining here today in Sydney. There's no heel wear on the mats either. Look at that lovely swooping line. No B pillar. It's what really makes these cars. They're perfect around town. They're not too big. And they're even better out on the open road. It's what Mercedes excels at. Very practical vehicle, huge boot. I don't know if this will give you any sort of depth perception, but it reaches right back and they do fold flat so you can put things through. Let's have a look at the spare under here. We've got the original Continental jacking instruments, fuses. We've even got gloves because God forbid a Mercedes owner should get dirty hands. That's the kind of care this company gives you. It's even got the original warning triangle. Those go missing in cars that have been less than well looked after. And that lovely thunk when you close the boot. Rear parking sensors, of course. Tail lights are in excellent shape. And it follows suit along this side of the vehicle. Excellent condition. No scratches that I can see. Now, we'll step into the vehicle and we'll fire up. I'm just going to grab the key. Bear with me a moment. Sunroof, of course. Courtesy lights come on when you hit unlock on the remote. Two Mercedes original factory keys. And this being the avant-garde trim, you get the niceties like the brushed aluminium. It is cold to the touch, it's nice. Leather wrapped dash, leather seats, leather steering wheel, multimedia steering wheel. And of course, the all important odometer reading, 81,211 original kilometers. How about that, folks? Let's fire up. Superbly quiet, nicety that, you know, 
Mercedes perfected over many years. The V6 is buttery smooth. Over my shoulder here, the seatbelt extenders work. So you don't have to turn around to find your seatbelt. It brings it out to greet you. Scrolling through the menu here on the multimedia steering wheel, you can go through all the options. No malfunctions detected. Telephone capability with the Bluetooth adapter. This little lump on the dash here is the front park sensors, which Mercedes call Parktronic. So that will illuminate with corresponding beeps the closer you get to an object at the front. We have the corresponding one mounted on the roof in the rear. Very nice sunshade. Here we have the very expensive option at the time, Mercedes-Benz Command. So this is TV, CD, telephone, nav, radio. And uh, look, we've got it on pre-programmed radio right now. It can go to navigation. You enter your address and off you go. Telephone, we don't have one plugged in at the moment. TV, unfortunately, at the moment they switched off analog, but if you buy a digital tuner, this should be able to work. You can flip over to the map and it'll show you where we are. You, of course, can zoom in. In case you were wondering, we are 101 to 103 Illawarra Road in Marrickville. Pretty easy to find, not too far from Broadway, Sydney Uni. Anyway, I'm just going to give her a bit of a rev for you. Buttery smooth as only a Benz V6 can be. Here we have the 5-speed G-Tronic touch shift gearbox. So basically, when I put it into drive, you can set and forget it in there. Or I can push it down or up to go through the gears manually. And it will, of course, tell me what gear I'm in over here. Three, two, one. Hold for drive. Also, we've got comfort and sports settings. As you can see, they change there from a C to an S. Sport will hold the gears longer and make the most out of the engine power available so basically what that will do is uh, it'll rev a bit longer before it shifts giving you maximum performance if you have it in comfort it'll take off in second gear it's a little more for cruising just going to shut it down now and show you through these perfect service logs all the dealer books delivery codes options you name it this is as an original as you will find. I've even got the Allen keys, manuals, take me all day to show you through that, but this is what I was after. So, let's have a look. So for just 81,000 Ks, it's got every single service at Marshall's Mercedes-Benz. which is at Parramatta. It's nice the car's lived away from the coast, so there's no corrosion or anything like that. And it had its last one just 5,000 Ks ago. This is a very clean car. I'll show you under the hood now. Tell you a little bit about the motor. This 3.2 V6 saw use in almost every Mercedes, in fact, almost every Mercedes model line at the time. I'm pretty sure almost every one except the G-Wagon. The 3.2 V6. It put out around 228 horsepower. Don't quote me on the kilowatts. Can't recall them off the top of my head. And it was, of course, coupled to that five-speed G-Tronic automatic in turn routed to the rear wheels. Just how you want a motor car to be. Look how clean it is in here. Correct factory blue coolant. Just gorgeous. All the corresponding codes up here. You can't replace stickers like this when a car's been compromised. I really recommend coming in and seeing this car, taking it for a drive. 
We love finding gems like this. And we, of course, are the old-timer centre. We specialise in European prestige. And you can find us on www.old.com.au.